Well, there were plenty of eyes on the RBA's Deputy Governor Michelle Bullock today as she took to the stage in Sydney. Let's check in with business reporter Ingrid Willinge now. And Ingrid, what did we hear from the Deputy Governor? Well, Andrew, the speech was, of course, on bond buying. It was a bit of a review of the bond buying program that's been going on throughout the pandemic. Of course, we do know the RBA has been under a huge amount of scrutiny over the last couple of years on just how prudently they have managed the pandemic. So we did hear some information around this and the $281 billion worth of bonds that they've purchased in this time. Of course, it is costing the RBA over the next couple of years. As interest rates continue to rise, it's going to cost more. It means the RBA cannot pay that dividend that they pay to the government, although the government has baked this into their forecast as well. Um, but, you know, the RBA said they did they did potentially overstimulate the economy, but they conceded that this was the only option and it was a good insurance policy and they'd do it again if they were in similar circumstances. Now, of course, the topic of inflation did come up in the Q&A. It's the hot topic of the moment. Here's a little bit of what Michelle Bullock had to say. What I would say is that... Um our forecasts for inflation are to peak at about seven and three quarters, eight percent towards the end, uh, early into next year. Now, the interesting part about this is we heard, well, we do know that in the last statement of monetary policy, the RBA has forecast inflation to peak at around 7.8%. She did mention 8% today. That's the first time a couple of economists mentioned to us. That's the first time we've heard an eight handle in front of the inflation number. It does make you wonder if at the next meeting, which obviously is still a couple of weeks away, we do see that 50 basis point hike, which there's a bit of a split between economists at the moment as to whether we'll see a 25 basis point hike at the next meeting or a 50 basis point hike. But this is making it look a little more likely for the upper end. Also, of course, we've got a Fed meeting, which is a two-day meeting, the second day or night, I should say, ending uh, this evening. And tomorrow morning, about 4 a.m. Eastern our time, we'll get a decision from the Fed expected to hike between 75 and 100 basis points. So this is a big one we're watching for inflation here at home as well. Well, we're certainly all waiting for that rates decision, including mm. me now as Coles are spinning. Uh, they're spinning off their petrol stations. Tell us about the deal, Ingrid. Yeah, this is a big one. Coles is uh, spinning off its Coles Express petrol station, selling it to Viva Energy for around $300 million. This includes 710 of its petrol stations. Um, now, Viva are obviously quite pleased with this deal. It does still require regulatory approval from the ACCC, also Foreign Investment Review Board approval. So they are expecting that deal to complete in the second half of the financial year. It is expected to go through um, as well. But Coles came out with a statement earlier. A couple of things that Coles wanted to reiterate was that the loyalty programs, the flybys and those four-cent four discounts uh, from Coles customers will still be applicable even once the deal goes through. Um, and also sort of reaffirming that Coles wants to focus on its food and liquor business going forward. So that is the focus of Coles, to continue, continue to compete with Woolies. And in terms of the share prices today, Coles is down very slightly, about half a percent. Viva Energy soaring on the deal. It's up about 5% today.